Aquila's next, and in answer to all of your queries why Aquila uses a V and not a U, it's a Latin word, it comes from the Roman alphabet, and they didn't have the character of U in that alphabet. You must meet my son, Dunstan. Your son? Yes, he's a little bit younger than Tom. And so what are you interested in? I've got my computer. It's the earring. And what about it? The guy to blow it up. Well, what did you do that for? Not to stop them coming up and finding us, Tom. We don't have to knock people out to stop them from getting up here, Jeff. No. It's a much simpler way. It was a bonus for doing this job in less than three days, wasn't it? still worrying about it, are you? Yes, I am. What else am I supposed to do? If I see something like that, I'll worry. Listen, we've not come all the way to Mars. He knows, Jeff. He knows about Aquila. <laughs> Very possibly. But it doesn't mean he can do anything, does it? I mean, if you think about it, what can he actually do? I don't know. Which is another thing that worries me. Dunstan. How's it going? Quite well, thank you. My goodness, what's all this writing? It's the answer to a question I asked earlier. You can understand what it says? Well, some of it. Yes, I've got a friend a bit like that. Then a red egg-shaped vessel emerged from the barn carrying two small creatures with round black heads. It's us, Jeff. He's talking about us. So he saw us. What can he do? It was ages ago. He took photographs. Blurred. It says they were blurred photographs. <sighs> Mr Evans, the Welsh Hill farmer, who became a multi-millionaire when Roman bullion and statuary worth £73 million was found on his land by two schoolboys, revealed today that he plans to use part of the fortune to have these photographs computer enhanced by experts. I'm sure, said Mr Evans, that this will reveal more precise details of the occupants. I didn't read that bit. Wanting to know, we're really looking forward to having you back. Well, it kind of gives that impression. You really think he's going to ask you to marry him? I'm sure of it. Especially after what he said on the phone last night. Why? What did he say? He said, I want you to know that when I get back, I'm going to ask you to marry me. I think he'd have asked before, only he was worried about Dunstan. Well, now he knows that the boys get on so well together. Right. Well done, Tom and Jeff. Oh, they've been wonderful, Sally. They've taken him everywhere. Swimming, out in the park. Today they're camping in Mrs Murray's garden. What's the matter? They've taken him swimming. Every morning, why? Hmm, it's probably nothing. No, no, go on, what? You didn't know the swimming pool's closed at the moment. It has been since Monday. <laughs> Oh, 
Are you coming? Maybe you're right. About what? If Mr. Evans does have photographs and someone can recognise us from them, maybe it'd be safer to do something. <sighs> At last. We know where he lives. He's always saying we should call in. Well, let's go down there. Mrs. Murray, could you tell Tom I'd like to speak to him, please? And Jeff. Tom and Jeff? Yes. Uh, well, I I'm afraid they're not here right at the moment. Really? Where have they gone? It's not Miles today, is it? Oh, you know about that, do you? I'm sorry. I thought they were still keeping it a secret. I'm afraid they're not back yet. From Mars. They're due in Earth orbit uh, 15 minutes ago, but then they still have to walk back from the tower. I think they told Dunstan not to expect them before half past. Dunstan's still here? In the sitting room. He needed the telephone line for his computer. Uh, you'd like to speak to him? Thank you. Uh, uh, you won't say anything to him about Mars, will you? Only he doesn't know. Okay, this is what we'll do. You get out and ask if you can talk to Mr. Evans, and I'll be behind you in Aquila. Mm. You ask him about the photos, and while you're doing that, I'll use a lie detector to make sure he's not hiding anything. Mm. Tom, mm? what are you waiting for? I'm not sure about this. Oh, for goodness sake, what's the problem now? Now, when did they leave this morning? It was about half past eight. And you haven't seen them since then? No. When they said you all went swimming together yesterday morning, that wasn't strictly true, was it? Well... We rang the pool. It's been closed for three days. Oh. Dunstan, since you came to stay with us, have you been anywhere with the boys? Anywhere at all? Well... I didn't mind. I have my computer. It's difficult to describe. It's just a sort of sensation that something's not right. I don't believe you, Tom. We travel halfway across the solar system with you moaning about how we ought to do something. And now we're here, you change your mind because you've got a feeling that something's not right. I know it seems strange, but it's definitely... It's called indigestion, Tom. You reckon? Oh, just get out and knock on the door, will you? We'll buy some Rennies on the way home. Mrs. Evans. Well, what are you doing here? Is your mother with you? Uh, no, no, I'm... I was passing, and I wondered if I could have a word with Mr. Evans. I'm afraid he's out playing with money at the moment. He's gone to the bank? No, no, money, the dog. He always takes her out after lunch, and... There he is, look, over there. He's giving us some obedience training. Uh, would it be all right if I went down there? Of course, he'd be delighted. Ah, but do keep your hands in your pockets. It's money where well, she tends to be a bit playful with people's fingers. Oh. <laughs> and then you can come back up here and I make us all a lovely cup of tea. Thanks, Mrs Evans. Oh, bye for now. Did you hear that? I'll walk down and you follow. Jeff? 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 <laughs> What happened? 
Come on, Pam, it's not that bad. Yes, it is. Alan's going to be here in an hour. I know, but... And the first thing he'll do is ask Dunstan how he's enjoyed being with the others. And Dunstan's going to say, well, I haven't, because they've ignored me the whole time. And all I've done is play on my computer. Oh, well, he didn't look as if he minded. It doesn't matter whether he minds it, does it? I've been phoning Alan every evening, telling him how they've been wonderful friends, how they've been doing everything together. Well? And what sort of an idiot does that make me? I wanted this to work, Sally. I really wanted it to. I wanted... And now... Are we all right? It's terrible, isn't it? Over here. Where have you been? Back to the tower. I've been sitting here for 15 minutes. Have you any idea what it's like? Just stuck here while you just fly off. I didn't tell it to fly anywhere. It went on its own. What? I was sitting in it and it just took off. 30 seconds later, I was back in the tower. It went on its own. Very fast. But why? Well, did you ask it? Of course I asked it. It didn't know. You need to use the memory egg, Jeff. You wind it back to when Aquila took off and then you... I told you. I tried. It didn't work. Memory's missing. Just that bit. It's like... It's like somebody's taken it. Sorry to disturb you, Dunstan, but a friend asked me to give you a message. Yes? He said to tell you that the wise wood dweller remembers that a forest fire destroys his own house as well as that of his neighbour. Yes. I don't know if that meant anything to you. Oh, yes. It was perfectly clear. Thank you. It was? Oh, good. <laughs> In that case, I'll get back to my tapestry. Miss Murray? Yes? Who is the friend who gave you the message? I'll explain when you're a bit older. <laughs> But if neither of us told it to fly anywhere, why should it suddenly just take off? Exactly. Right. The first thing we need to do is... Oh, grief. Do you boys know that this is private property? Technically, you are trespassing. You know that? And I have the right to... Jeff? Tom! <laughs> Hello, Mr Evans. <laughs> well, what are you two doing here? Well, uh... Well, actually, we came to see you. Oh, that is nice. We read in the paper yesterday that you had some photographs of aliens. Ah. Oh. And we wondered if we could see them. Please? I'm sorry, boys, but it's not possible. Why not? Mainly because there aren't any photos. But it said in the papers you would taken them. It said you'd seen some aliens in a spaceship. Oh, I saw them, all right. It was a few days after you found that Roman centurion. I saw it fly straight out of the old barn, as clear as I see you now. Only I didn't have a camera with me, did I? So why did you say you did? Because nobody believed me when I told them. Not even Gwyneth. Now I've got all this money, and everything I do seems to get in the papers. That gave me an idea. What idea? Well, supposing you were an alien trying to keep yourself secret. What would you do... If I had photos of you... Me? You'd come back and take them, wouldn't you? Would I? I think you would, Jeff. And as soon as you did... Click! Clever, eh? Yeah. I don't know if it'll work, mind. Oh, I think if the aliens read about it, they might easily fall for it. Well, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> and when they... Hey, come here, money. Money, come on. Here, come on. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. Called a silent whistle. We can't hear it, but the dog can. Only trouble is, you're never sure if it's worked. Oh, 
afraid they're still not back yet, Mrs. Baxter. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea after all, letting them go off to Mars on their own like that. Mrs. Murray, I mean, we know the air supply was limited. Yes, but... But now they could be floating, lost among the stars, or going to wait for us in another place. Mrs. Murray, could I have Dunstan, please? He needs to get washed and packed before his father gets here. But I thought that's what he'd gone to do. He's gone. Five minutes ago. Suddenly packed up his computer and said he had to leave. I thought he was... Oh, dear. I do hope he hasn't had an accident as well. Oh. Any more tea, boys? He was just locking money away safely. How's the hand feeling, Tom? Not too bad, thank you. Oh, that's good. I think when you held that biscuit up, she thought it was for her, you see. Mrs Evans, we were wondering, could Tom and I borrow about £30? Why, whatever for? There's been a bit of a mix-up about our getting home. We have to take the train, but we don't have any money. So if you could lend We'd us... We'd pay it back as soon as we could. Well, of course, we'll let you have whatever you need. But if you're going to change your plans like that, you'd better ask your parents if it's all right. <sighs> Do we have to? If there's some reason why you don't want to go home with your young friend, Jeff, I quite understand. But I can't let you go running off on a train without letting your parents know, now can I? A young friend? Yes, the boy outside. We have a friend outside. Here he is, Gwyneth. One more for tea. Dunstan. Dunstan. Hi. <laughs> Come back and pay us a proper visit sometime very soon. You make sure you do now. If you hadn't found that Roman centurion, we wouldn't have any of this, would we, you? Oh, that's right. Which is why, before you go, and I hope you won't mind, I'd like to give you this. There. You take it. And you watch him, mind? Half of that is for you, remember? No need to thank me. It's the least we can do. And so you don't feel left out, Sonny? There's something for you, too. Now we're all happy. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, bye. 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 What are you doing here, Dudston? I came in Aquila. Aquila? You've got Aquila? It's at the bottom of the drive. How do you know about Aquila? And how did you know we were here? And how did you know we needed rescuing? Well, it's a long story. And then I realised everything I told you on the phone about how the boys were getting on so well and always playing together. It wasn't true. Really? I mean, I thought it was true. They went off together every morning. But now it seems they were just completely ignoring Dunstan. He's been stuck on his own and he's been so miserable. Are you sure about that? I think it's because he was so upset that he ran away. I only ask because, well, to be honest, he doesn't look very miserable. As far as I can see, he looks perfectly happy. Well, they all do. So you hooked up to your computer? It wasn't very difficult. Aquila worked out the interface and gave itself an email address. And that was it. That's fantastic. So you've been following everything we ever did in Aquila ever since you got stuck in the tower. Why didn't you tell us? Well, I thought you didn't want anyone else to find out about Aquila. But then when I saw you were stranded... <sighs> Believe me, Dunstan. We're very glad you were watching. If you hadn't turned up when you did... Yeah. We need to do something about that whistle signal. It's all right. I already have. The boy's a genius. I programmed it to only obey commands from someone who's given it the password. Brilliant. And what is it? Dunstan, your dad's here. I'd better go. But what about the password? 
So you liked it, staying here? It was quite interesting, really. Pam was worried the others might have been too busy to look after you properly. Well, they were quite. They didn't matter. I was quite happy watching. Good. Dad, could I stay a bit longer? You want to stay? Do you think Mrs Baxter would mind? Well, we can ask. Alan? Boys want to know if Danston could stay a bit longer. Well, funnily enough, he's been asking the same thing. Well, I suppose if you don't mind having him. No, of course not. I'd love to. Oh, great. Back to tea at five, remember? No being late this time. Well, they're certainly not ignoring him now. No. In fact, it looks to me like those two aren't going to let him out of their sight. <laughs> OK, Dunstan, let's have it. What? The password. I thought perhaps we could do a deal on that. Well, what sort of a deal? Well, I tell you the password, and in return you do something for me. <sighs> it was just something I saw. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, if you don't like it, I, I can always... No, no, no. It's perfect. I was just wondering what I could possibly give you in return. You don't have to give me anything. Because it would have to be something very special and exciting. But don't worry, I'll think of something. <laughs> Information. That's all you want? You want to ask it then? Yes. You don't want to fly? I told you, I hate travelling anywhere. I always get sick. And you just want to talk to it through your computer? Well, strictly speaking, it's not a quiller I want to talk to. Its resources are considerable, but the memory storage on the mothership is even bigger. Hold it, hold it. What? The mothership. I'm sorry, I thought you knew. A quiller is the life bulb from a Eurillian battle cruiser, which was... was... destroyed 6,000 years ago. Yeah, we know that. It wasn't exactly destroyed. I mean, everyone was killed. But the ship's fractal core was still 47% viable. And that was more than enough to start doing the repairs. It's actually been repairing itself. For the last 6,000 years. And it's just flying around up there now. Right. And according to my printout of the plans, Deck 44 has a store of these portable communication units. I thought if you could fly out there and get one, it would mean I wouldn't have to patch for Aquila. The ship is close enough for us to fly there. It will be. It's on an elliptical orbit that should bring it close enough to Earth about once every two years. And all you want's one of these communication thingies? Well, yes. If that's all right. I think we might go with that. Don't you? A battle cruiser. Up there. Oh, you could have some serious fun with a battle cruiser. 